How's it going guys? I'm Scott Wright, Director of Curver Coach in England and Wales, and this is today's Curver X session, which is a special one for the women's Euros. This is Carmen. We're gonna get straight into the warm up. The one thing I want you guys to do at home is to work as hard and as fast as you can in this session so you get the very most from it. So we're gonna get straight into it. So we're starting off with ball mastery move one. So we're gonna work on ball mastery moves, game moves, and into the curve rep challenge where we combine it all together. So ball mastery move one is inside outside rolls using both feet for technical balance. So we're gonna start with the ball on the inside of the right foot and you're just gonna roll it across like this. Then you're gonna switch feet. So we're rolling inside to outside and then we're switching the ball across. And we've got this little hop. I'll do it a little bit slower for you. We've got this little hop in, I'll show you at the front as well. So we've got this little foot roll with a little hop. Ready to have a little go? Just 10 seconds in the warm-up. Again, this doesn't have to be fast. So let's just get it right and we'll get the speed into the set. Okay, you ready, Carmen? Ready, play. 10, 9, 8, good. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, relax there, fantastic start. So we're just getting into the groove. So ball mastery move two now. It's gonna to be toe tap, sole taps. So again, I'll show you from the front, I'll show you the way you're facing as well. So toe taps is using the inside of the foot. So it's gonna be one, two, keeping your feet as close to the ball as possible so we get quick reps. Then sole taps is the sole of your foot on top of the ball. One, two, so you're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll show you the way you're facing. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All good, Carmen? Now, when we get into the sets, we want you counting how many touches you can get. Count you down from 10, ready, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, Carmen, good job. So into ball mastery, move three is combining one and two together. So we're taking the challenge up um, a little bit further here. So what we've got, I'll show you this way. So we've got inside outside rolls, like what we just did, and you're into toe tap, sole tap. So in, out, roll, toe tap, sole tap. Show you from the front, in, out, roll, toe tap, sole tap. So just combining together one and two that we just did. Okay, you ready Carmen? Again, doesn't have to be super fast, we can get into it. Ready, go. 10, nine, Eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. So we're heading into game move territory now. When you don't have space, you're gonna have to have an, a, a, a sort of an opportunity to combine with a teammate. So what's gonna happen here now is we're just gonna use something called uh, the pull push using the inside of the foot. So I'll turn around first to check what we're doing. So again, this is, this is actually a ball mastery move that's also a game move. We're just gonna reach across, it's like a little V move, and we're using the sole and inside of our foot. And it's like we're sort of drawing a little V on the pitch in front. So we're pushing forwards with the left to the right. We've got this little action where we're looking to change the angle of attack. This is a really good one to switch the ball from left, right and right to left to get us out of a little bit of trouble in the game. So we're getting here, you can just get into it. We've got this little V movement. When we get into the sets, I'll be looking for the eyes to come up and you get this nice little rhythm. Just make sure your hips and shoulders are facing the direction you want that touch to go in. So we're turning our body each time. You ready, Carmen? Here we go, count you down from 10. Let's go, nine, eight, good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax there, fantastic work. Is the pull push behind. So a similar reason that we would use this, and it's a similar, I guess, a, a similar moment of the game where you would use it. So I've got pressure maybe coming on an angle. Again, if I look at it in the game, I could be a central midfielder as an example. And the sole of your foot, so one, the inside of your foot, to push it back behind the standing leg and then we take the ball with the outside of the opposite foot. So it's pull, push, behind. Pull, push, behind. Imagine defender here, pull, push, behind and I'm out and I can switch play. Pull, push, behind, I'm out and I can switch play. This is a really good one. This is one that actually Pogba uses a lot. So the pull, push, behind. So once we get into it, I'll show you from the front as well. So we're in, 
we're just getting those little movements. Your body shape becomes a little bit lower and we might be looking to be thinking about playing those passes. So I want you to really think about the game when we're working in these game moves. Okay, you ready? Play. Good, so again, you're working off those little V angles. So these are attacking moves. So you want to actually come diagonally forwards with the touch. So you're progressing further forwards. Three, two, one, and relax there. And then finally, game move three, we're going to combine both together. So I've got my pull push with the inside. I'm now into my pull push behind, my pull push behind, and then back into the pull push. Show you one in front again. So pull push, pull push behind, really changing the angles. So your body shape's really, really important when you're performing these moves as well. Nice soft knee so you can change direction quickly. Ready, Carmen? Count down from 10, ready, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax there, good job. So guys, that's your warm up. We're now gonna get into the set, which is gonna be a 30-30 round. So guys, the time is coming now for our 30-30 round. Here we go, we're gonna get into it. So remember, ball mastery move one. We've got our inside outside rolls. Make sure we're counting how many we can do. So again, show you from the front. And once we get into it, can we start to get the eyes up and we're starting to look at what's going on in the game. Okay, we ready? 10 seconds to go, Carmen. Here we go, harden as fast as we can at home and obviously here as well. We ready? Let's play. Exercise. Good, there's one for Carmen, there's two, good. So make sure we're counting while we're covered. And this will happen when you're pushing yourselves as fast as Carmen's doing. It's fine, this is gonna happen. This is not easy stuff. 15 seconds, really well recovered. We're back into the groove now. The eyes start to come up. 10 seconds left. I wanna see a gear change on that beat when we go into the last three. You ready, Carmen? We're gonna go up a gear, here we go. Finish it strong. Great job, well done. 30 seconds, breathe it in. If you're working as hard and as fast as you can, you should be out of breath now. So make sure you're working as hard as you can. So toe tap, sole taps now. So one, two, three, four. That would count as one on the touch count. One, two, three, four. So you're getting that lovely rhythm. Carmen, you ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once we get into it, start to bring the eyes up. Here we go, five seconds. Let's start this one fast, Carmen. Are we ready? Play, let's go. Good, fantastic start. Again, once we get into the rhythm, toe tap, toe tap, soul tap, soul tap, toe, toe, soul, soul. The eyes start to come up when we get comfortable with the movement. And then we start to think and visualize we're in possession of the ball in the game. Where are teammates? Where's space? Where are the opponents? Where's the press coming from? Can we see both goals? Good, what have we got? Last three seconds. And relax there. Blazing fast feet, calm, and absolutely love it. We're going to ball mastery move three, which is combining one and two together. Quickly show you. So you've got you the inside outside rolls, toe tap, sole tap, and then you're back into the inside outside rolls again. You got it? Here we go. 10 seconds. Breathe it in at home. I think I'm getting tired watching Carmen here. She's so fast. Okay, we ready? Here we go. Let's play. Exercise. Good, so that would be one on the touch count. So it's the full sequence. Make sure we're counting at home. Good, Carmen. Once we get the rhythm, the eyes start to come up. Toe taps, sole taps. Doing really, really good. And we've got those inside outside rolls. Inside outside, and the sole part of the foot being worked on. Good, remember a little gear change. Can we have a little scan as well? Three seconds left if we can, challenge yourselves. And relax there, Carmen, fantastic work, really well done. What we're now doing is getting to the game move section. So if you remember what we're looking to do now is we've got this little pull push, we've got this little V movement, just make sure your hips and shoulders are facing where you want the ball to go when the ball makes contact with the inside of your foot. So we've got this little movement, just quickly show you this way. We've got this little movement now, which is a really good one to change the angle of attack in the game. Okay, you ready, Carmen? Here we go. Hips Exercise. and shoulders, we're opening them up each time. And we're like drawing a little V on the floor. It's like a V move. It's a really good attacking one because it takes you diagonally forwards. 
Good, that's 10 seconds in the tank. Here we go, we're going halfway. Can we push it, Carmen? Last 10 seconds. So now these curve rec sessions are so good for your technical conditioning and your fitness with the ball. Three seconds left. And relax there. Carmen, great job. Are we ready to go? So this time now we've got similar movement in terms of what it does in the game. So we've got the pull push behind. So we're going from the sole inside, right outside. The really, really good one to change the angle of attack. Again, as mentioned, this is a really good one if you play in the middle of the pitch, central midfielder is an example. Okay, we ready, Carmen? Play. Exercise. Good. Again, the little V's in. Just think of those angles. We're going diagonally forwards. Good, well recovered. Coming up to 15 seconds left. Don't forget that little outside touch to protect the ball. Remember that touch away is going to be really important to move into the space we've created. Good, five seconds left. Two, one, and rest there. Good job. Okay, breathe it in. Remember we've got the combo now. So we've got the pull push with the inside. We've got the pull push behind, pull push behind. And you'll notice we're doing everything here with both feet equally. So you guys have got technical balance when you go into gameplay. Really, really important. If you can use both feet to do everything and all these moves that we're working on, you have so many more options in the game. Okay, Carmen, are you ready? Here we go. Three seconds left. Let's finish this strong. Exercise. Good. So again, we're just visualizing the angles. Where would the defender be? Where would the teammates be? Where's the space? Why are we doing this? We're using it to create space. That's why the run shoot will pass. That's the idea. Ready, we're about halfway. Good, Carmen. About 10 seconds. This is tough now. We're in the sixth part of this set. Here we go. Got five seconds left. Finish on the beat. Can we go up again? Come on, what have we got? Can we finish it? Hey. High five, Carmen, well done. A cracking set from Carmen. I hope you guys have worked as hard as she has, so you make sure you get the most out of this session and you're pushing yourself and you're stretching yourself. Let's get into the Curve Rex Challenge. Here we go then, guys. It's Curve X Challenge time. So the idea of this is to test yourself at the end of this Curve Rex session. What we're going to do is combine ball mastery move one and two with game move one and two to create a sequence. You have to do as many times as you can, as fast as you can in 30 seconds. The timer is on now. We've got 30 seconds to get prepared for our Curve Rex Challenge. So just quickly remember what we're doing. We have our inside outside rolls. We have our toe tap, sole taps. What we're then looking to do is push into the pull pushes, okay? So you're going to move in now, pull pushes. I've got my pull push behind and I'm back into my foot rolls now when I start again. You okay with that, Carmen? I think if you can get through three here, you're doing really well. Ready, play. Exercise. Good, Carmen. Great quality. There's one. Absolutely flying. Remember the scanning as well. It's tough when we're going so fast. We want you to do this as fast as we possibly can. 15 seconds left. Absolutely flying, Carmen. I reckon you might get to four. Last 10 seconds. What we've got. Good. Concentration levels need to be really high. Can we finish it off? Three, two, one. Oh, Carmen, unbelievable. I think you got four in a bit. Double high five. Guys, great work from Carmen. I'm sure you guys have been pushing yourself as much at home so you get the very most out of this session. That wraps up today's Curve Rec session. On behalf of Curva Coaching, our global partner, Adidas and Pro Direct Soccer, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. To be in with a chance to win some fantastic prizes from our global partner, Adidas, all you have to do is film yourself in action, post to social media, making sure to tag in at CurveRW, hashtag CurveRex, hashtag WEuros2022. We look forward to seeing you in action.